Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. I dropped my, I just broke my pen in the last video and I dropped the little piece. I was trying to find it when the video started. Sorry. Okay. I think I got that from Donna. I think Donna always says that. Sorry. She's got me saying it. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Um, okay. Bread and butter. Who wants some bread and butter videos? Bread and butter bolos, not videos. I guess it is a video. But anyhow. All right. 23, bread and butter coming your way. Here we go. And be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Here's the first one. All right, children's books. I pick these up when they are cheap. I bought a huge box of children's books. I think it was like two boxes, actually, at a garage sale over the summer. And I think they gave them all to me for like $5. So... It was more than just this. I've lauded the other ones up. I lauded them up by kind of, um, if there were certain books like in a series or Disney books or princess books, you know, I kind of do that. Like, okay, I'll put three or four together, depending on how many. But this is a big lot of 38 books. I took a best offer of $20 and the buyer paid shipping on this. So it's a great bread and butter item. I do really well um, also on Mercari with books. This Xbox Connect, it's an Xbox 360 Connect One. It's got a controller, nine games. Um, I did, I did, it was untested. I don't have any idea if it worked. So I just, I list things untested and I, I don't want to test them. So I sell them cheap and I usually get them cheap. I think this came from a, a garage sale. I can't remember which one, but I'm guessing I had $5 or less in it and I sold it best offer of 20 bucks plus the buyer paid shipping. So is it a huge bolo? No, but I'm guessing maybe somebody bought this lot to resell. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know what these games go for each. I didn't want to test them, so I just sold them as a lot. So you gamers, every once in a while, these things will pop up in my store, but they are untested. The next item are these vintage cake toppers. I picked these up at a garage sale. I was buying some other stuff and she just said to take them. So she kind of threw them in free. Um, I sold these for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. So they're vintage cake toppers. Again, if I wanted, I probably could have, you know, lotted up just like the motorcycles there. I thought about doing um, this thing. It says 10 for good buddy. Like it's like a, like a radio. It's vintage. I probably could have sold that separately. You know, cake toppers are, you know, people look for these when they're doing cakes. You got the swans and the princess uh, carriage type deal back there. There was some cute stuff in this lot. Those black shoes would be cute for like a wedding, some Christmas stuff, some baby stuff. So yeah, I could have probably lotted them in smaller lots. The next item are these OPA Red Point World War II ration tokens. There's 130 and they come in this little vintage leather purse. These were in there. I'm not sure what these are. Maybe I sold something that was worth a lot of money, but they were unmarked. I doubt it. Who knows? But this is the little wallet. It's pretty cute. Um, my friend was like, you need to check that and make sure it's not silver. And I don't think it was, but it was leather. And I sold this for $30. I took a best offer of $30. It says $34.99 because I had it auction style or best offer. The first time it went through, it did not sell. So when somebody offered me $30 the second time around, I took it and just was done with it. So those came from a garage sale. I had probably a buck or two in it. Mary Kay Fig Lipstick. Uh, discontinued Mary Kay Lipstick is a bolo. I have about 36 cents in this. I sold it for $23 plus shipping. The next item are these boxes. There's no games. These are instructions, boxes, booklets, inserts, replacements uh, for the Game Boy, Nintendo. You know, it's just the, the inserts and stuff. There are no games. Uh, so I took a best offer of $15 on this in the buyer paid shipping. Again, this came in a big box lot that I got at a garage sale. And I was good with $15. All right. So my bulk jewelry buy, if you guys have not started watching that series, it's every Monday I purchased 344 pounds of jewelry 
and I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. And if you watch the video, I kind of explain how I ended up getting 344 pounds of jewelry off of eBay. So, um, yeah, go check that out. And it, I have a video where I go and pick it all up. And then I have a video where I weigh it all, which I just told you how much it weighs. But, um, and now I'm doing unboxings and I'm going to do like gemstone testing and acid testing to see if stuff's gold. Um, I'm going to kind of learn and kind of take you guys on that journey. But those are every Monday night. So this necklace was one of the items from that lot. And I sold this for $25 in the buyer paid shipping. And if you want to know what I paid for the 344 pounds, you can go check out that um, the video where I weigh it because I tell you all that information. The next item is this little vintage mini purse pillbox. And I picked this up in a lot of stuff at a garage sale. If this was not broken, I'm guessing I could have gotten quite a bit more for it, but the latch was broken. So I sold it for $8 plus shipping. And I just put broken clasp in the title. Like sometimes people don't go down and read the description. So I will put stuff like that in the title. Like you can't say you didn't see it. It was in the title. <laughs> The next item are these vintage Trifari butterfly earrings and they are pierced. And this came out of my um, box from Donatella Bodolino's auctions. And I took a best offer on these for $10. And I paid $25 for the entire box and I have sold so much stuff from it. So making tons of money, tons of money on that box. The next item are these vintage Barbie Skipper Ideal clothings. Some are tagged, some are mommy made, some are clones. I sold this for one bid for $19.99 and the buyer paid shipping. Those came from um, that big Barbie lot that I got at the thrift store. I have a haul video on it. The next item is this vintage Rawlings Playmaker baseball glove. I didn't do that before the video. Did it get clearer? Sometimes I have a thumbprint like from closing my laptop and I always forget to wipe it off. Okay, so I sold this glove and I wanna say I sold it for like $35. That was probably in a previous video. The person gets it and they open up a return saying that the item is not as described because they cannot use the glove. It's too stiff. And I'm like, it's a vintage like collectible glove. Like I'm. I didn't think anybody was really going to buy it to use it. So I called eBay. I'm like, what do I do? And they're like, well, you know, I, they're like, did you check the glove? And I'm like, no, I'm like, it's an old glove. Like, what would I need to check? And I forgot about these strings right here. And then after I had refunded their money, I realized that they returned it damaged. So technically I could have, um, filed a claim or uh, not given them, given them a partial refund because the item was returned to me damaged, but I didn't check it. I was like, it's an old glove. Like what could they do to it? You know? And I should have checked it. So my recommendation to you is always check it. I mean, the eBay rep even said, did you look at the glove? And I'm like, no. So my fault, my bad. And just the nerve of them to return it damaged and not tell me that they messed it up. You know, they just said it was stiff and didn't fit. And then they messaged me and they're like, I can't find my refund. And I'm like, well, it's back to your original payment method. And they left me negative feedback. I'm like, seriously? Um, because I didn't give them their original shipping back, which I'm glad I didn't now because it was damaged but they shouldn't have opened an item not as described anyway. They shouldn't have got their original shipping back because it was a buyer's remorse case, in my opinion. And that is why I did not give the original shipping. And they opened a claim against me. So the negative feedback was removed by eBay. It did fall under, I can't remember which, um, I don't know if they said something in the feedback about, oh, I think they said that I didn't return the full amount and on eBay, I didn't have to, you know what I mean? That was one of the things that I was allowed to not return. Does that, am I making any sense? So they removed the feedback. I can't remember what else it said. Either way, I relisted it. I noted that it was damaged and I took pictures 
let me see down here. Item was purchased and buyer tried to use it and turn and in turn damaged it and returned it. This is a collector's items item. It is old and not meant to be used. Please see photos for condition. So right here, I have a picture showing that it's completely split. And right there. So um, yeah, I just made a note of it and I ended up selling it for $30.80 plus shipping. So I lost a little bit of money, but I'm, I mean, the glove wasn't as in good a condition as when the first person bought it, but I still sold it for a decent amount. And I hope that the person that got it was happy because I haven't heard anything. <laughs> oh my goodness. What a mess. And sorry, I told that story so poorly. All right. This little kittle. Um, I sold this for $12 and I don't know if this is a little kittle or if it's like a clone because it doesn't look like a little kittle. I think it's a clone, but I don't know what every little kittle looks like, but I don't know. That looks a little weird. So I just put little kittle clone question mark doll and it's rare because I couldn't find anything that looked like this little girl, little girl on um, eBay at all. So I sold her for $12 and the buyer paid shipping. So somebody wonder the next item. It's probably like Barbie collectors. There's Barbie collectors that want the clones. So this is a 1996 Pleasant Company American Girl Samantha hat. It's retired. Um, Pleasant Company is vintage American Girl. So if you see Pleasant Company, definitely pick it up. I sold this hat for $7.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this magnet. It's a hand stitched magnet. I picked this in, up in a lot of items. Um, so I probably had 10 cents in it or something. I sold it for $7.75 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage Barbie clone Fab Lube brocade jacket. If you guys see this brocade look, definitely grab it. This one has a hole in it. You can see it right there. Um, it's kind of on the shoulder right here. And it is kind of on the seam. So I think that it can be fixed by somebody who wants to take the time to fix it. This sold for $19.99 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage Bell Point cardigan sweater. It's like a monthly sweater. It's got January, February, March, April, you know, just the different things that happened in the different months like Halloween, November, there's a turkey. Anyway, Fun little sweater. I got this for a buck at a, uh, mm, I think it was an estate sale. One of the buttons is loose, will need repaired. I sold this for $20 and the buyer paid shipping. All right, these wood bracelets are also from my bulk uh, buy from eBay purchase. I'm just calling it bulk buy. And these are wood bracelets and I just listed them all together. I sold this for $19.99 and the buyer paid shipping. These Bart Simpsons uh, Tops trading cards, I picked these up at a thrift store in a bulk Bart Simpson buy. I have a video on that if you guys wanna see all the Bart Simpson stuff I got. I've done really well with it. I still have a lot left and I paid $10 for the entire tote full. So I have probably like 10 cents in these. I sold them for $17.60 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item, huge junk drawer, lot of cords, cables, chargers, and more for electronics, untested. Sold this for $22 and the buyer paid shipping. The shipping was expensive. I think it went to like California or something crazy. But I'm guessing maybe a reseller bought it. Maybe there's like a cord in here that's, I don't know, worth a lot of money. Because I but I did not want to mess with this at all. Not my thing. Um, so I was happy to take the $22. Most of this stuff comes from garage sales. Um, I, I know I picked a bunch up from a garage sale that was just sitting out that said free. So um, yeah. Whipped Berries Mary Kay Discontinued Lipstick. Sold this one for $26.40 and the buyer paid shipping. Had about... 36 cents in it, I think it was. 
The next item is this spode plate. I've talked about these in other videos. I sold another one for $12. This is a lot of nine. I sold these for $35.26, and the uh, buyer paid shipping. Here are some more Bretts from my thrift battle against Donatella Bodolino on Primetime Treasure Hunters channel. If you guys not have not seen that, go check it out. I know I talk about it all the time, but it's such a good video. It's so fun. But I purchased a bulk lot of vintage Bretts, and I have done really well with them. You guys have seen them popping up in my videos, my what sold videos, bread and butter for sure. Um, but I got so many of them and I paid $5 for all of them. So definitely a great buy. Um, that's it. That concludes this video. So thank you for watching. Um, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you made it to the end of the video, comment, I made it to the end of the video. And as always, I appreciate every single one of you. Take, thank you for taking time out of your day to watch my videos. I hope you're learning. If you do find one of the bolos that you see in my video, take a moment to join my Facebook group and send me a private message and let me know. It makes me feel awesome when people message me and say, hey, I found a toddler dress and I sold it for $200. Or I found some vintage panties, that, panties and I sold them for this. Or they were new panties, by the way. But um, there's so many different things that I feature and talk about in my Bolo videos. And when you guys find them, it makes me feel really happy. So join my Facebook group down below in the description. I'm also on Instagram and Twitter. So, um, but Facebook's probably the best way to private message me and tell me about it. I want to hear about it. And if you guys want to be featured in a featured seller video, um, you can message me on Facebook also. And what else? Live show every Wednesday, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I um, have a featured seller and I share their bolos. And then I also do chat participation from the people in the chat. You guys bring a bolo, I share it. It gets you um, exposure to your store or if you have a YouTube channel, it's great exposure that way. So, all right, you guys, again, I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome night and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.